Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Bridget Shanahan. The Milwaukee man accused of killing one-year-old baby Bill pleaded not guilty in court today. Officials say DeMarque Cohill fired a gun at a home to get back at a rival drug dealer. But investigators believe he hit the wrong house and killed baby Bill Tao. Cohill is due back in court next month and a trial is set for May. Police say a burglar in St. Francis was looking for an easy target when he went door to door. Investigators report Scott Vukovic broke into a sleeping woman's home near Kansas and Howard Sunday night. Apparently put his hand over her mouth and demanded cash. Officers, though, quickly arrested him after neighbors called 911. Unfortunately, we had Mother Nature helping our cause that night because it did snow and there were tracks. And they looked at where the footprints led. Franklin police looking into whether the suspect may be the same guy who held a woman captive for hours last month. You can learn more about the controversial streetcar proposal tonight. The meeting is the second one Mayor Barrett has held in the last few days. He's hoping to address any lingering questions from the public. The Common Council approved the project last month, but a procedural move delayed the final vote until next Tuesday. The stolen Smokey Bear sign in the town of Vernon is back where it belongs. A worker found Smokey discarded outside of town hall. He is a little banged up, but they say they can fix him. Somebody cut the bear out of the display outside a fire station during Sunday's storm. Uh, Sheriff's deputy is still trying to figure out who stole Smokey. A million-dollar Powerball winning ticket that was sold up near Fond du Lac is still floating around somewhere. That's right. The Prairie Mobile Mart sold the ticket sometime between last Thursday and Sunday. We're really looking forward to seeing who it is, and you know, hopefully we know who they are and have a familiar face. In 2006, a store on the same street sold the jackpot ticket, which was worth $208 million. Well, we had the clear sky overnight, and that bright moon it left shadows uh, on the snowy surface, and that made it a cold, cold night. One above in Milwaukee, the only spot in the state that was above zero, nine below Kenosha. Burlington, Lake Geneva, and Watertown's numbers reading a little bit too cold. That was actually your wind chills. Everyone else between about 2 and 8 to 9 below zero. And then the wind chill went down to about 20 below. Now we've had sunshine throughout the morning hours. A little thin veil of clouds starting to make their way across the central part of the state. You're going to see some thin wispy clouds out there. But the cloud cover off to the west will actually move in here tonight and act as a blanket and keep us much warmer. Port Washington looking cold but nice outside. Sunny and 12 degrees. Southwest winds at 14. That's making it feel not so nice. 15 in Milwaukee, 13 in Kenosha, 10 in Watertown. Those winds are southwesterly at 10 to 15, almost 20 miles per hour in some locations, and that is creating the wind chills below zero. It feels like one above, however, in Milwaukee, one above in West Bend, and look at the five below in Sheboygan, Green Lake, and six below in Whitewater. The Goddard gauge for today, we're going to go with a four as the temperatures remain in the teens throughout the afternoon. The only reason we're giving it a four is because of the sunshine. If it were cloudy, it'd probably be down to a one or a two as wind chills are at that zero mark or even colder with that brisk wind. So the forecast map for today. You're looking at the cold conditions around the state. At least it's sunny, thanks in part to this area of high pressure. As this moves slowly off to the east, those southwesterly winds start to increase a little bit as they're doing already this afternoon. Clouds will start to move in as well later this evening and overnight tonight, and that'll help keep the temperature up just a little bit. A little bit of afternoon sun for a Friday, but otherwise mostly cloudy. It will be dry and temperatures warming up to close to 30 degrees. This storm system off to the west, nothing like last weekend where we had those, what, Gusty winds of 30 to 50, the heavy snow. This will be more of a nuisance than anything else. It's going to keep us cloudy throughout the weekend. It'll create some fog with the warmer temperatures. And with that, some drizzle and freezing drizzle late Saturday, Saturday night, and into Sunday. Could even mix with a little bit of sleet and light snow. Any snow accumulation on Sunday would be less than an inch at best. But there is going to be some slippery roads out there uh, over the next uh, couple of days with that chance for some freezing drizzle. Not today, however, mostly sunny. Wind chills near zero. Southwest winds at 10 to 15, sometimes gusting close to 20 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, not as cold uh, as it has been. Nine degrees, still chilly, uh, but at least we're staying above zero across southeastern Wisconsin. Wind chill, though, will still be anywhere from zero to five below. Southwest winds once again at five to 15. And then for tomorrow, uh, clouds increase. We'll call it mostly cloudy, warmer and breezy. A high of 28. Wind chills will be right around 20 degrees. So your seven day forecast, 28 for Friday after that morning low of nine, 34 on Saturday. It'll be cloudy and foggy with some drizzle and freezing drizzle late in the day, 30 degrees on Sunday with the wintry mix, 26 on Monday with sunshine and another chance of rain, snow and sleet on Tuesday with a high of 32, 28 for Wednesday.